Hi everyone, a boy and his dogs here. We're gonna start playing a story about my uncle. Be playing with the controller. Dad? Aren't you sleeping yet? It's time for bed, honey. Dad, I can't sleep. Can you tell me a bedtime story? Alright. What do you want to hear? Something... something about an adventure. Hmm. I think I know just the thing. When I was your age, my biggest dream was to follow my Uncle Fred on one of his adventures around the world. One day, he disappeared. I stepped into the lobby of my uncle's house. It lay just across the hill from where I lived with my mother, your grandmother. She had tried to keep me from going, but I wanted to see, see if Fred was home yet from his latest adventure. Pretty messy. My uncle used to send me postcards from his long journeys. Greetings from Nepal, Galapagos, Kilimanjaro, the Amazon River. This was the first time he had left without a word, without sending cards. It's very pretty. I had visited Uncle Fred's house countless of times, but in the locker, countless which usually times. was closed, I found something I hadn't seen before. It was an adventure suit. It resembled the one that Fred used. I want an adventure suit. Smaller in size. Curiosity got the better of me, and I tried it on. It fit like it had been custom made for me. Kind of reminds me of the Mag Runner glove. The most mysterious room of my uncle's house was the observatory. There he kept his newest experiments, and right now it held a pad used for disposing of garbage. Uncle Fred had warned me not to touch any of his things. But, so, I'll do that. as I said, I was a curious child. Let's go to the disposal. I landed with a crash, but thanks to the suit I wasn't hurt. I had no idea where the pad had taken me, but back then I didn't care so much about so where I was going. just been sending the garbage or how to I this nice place. Not very nice. The suit protected me from falls on the ground, but not in water. I couldn't swim with this thing on. Best be careful. <clears throat> Another hero that can't swim.
I was sure that someone had been here before me. Someone had built these bridges and carved these symbols, but who, where were they now? Controls seem pretty smooth so far. I found a strange gizmo, <coughs> some sort of measuring tool that Fred must have built. It seemed to be done measuring though, so I took the results to give to Fred. Fred had been there. Well, I found a small campsite where Fred must have slept before going further into the caves. I knew it was him because the place was littered with empty packages of his favorite hiking fruits. On the jerk. soups, tube food, and instant noodles. Tube food? That sounds gross. Oh well, it's not that bad. One winter, Uncle Fred and I went hiking into the mountains and we were surprised by a blizzard. We were stuck in a small cabin for two days, and all we ate was tube food and cold canned goulash as well. The grandmother was worried sick, but I thought it was all very exciting. So when you jump, you can't control your jump um, after you've let go, kind of at the mercy of where you're headed. suit's grappling device when I picked it up. It must have been left here by my uncle. Sweet. grappling device left a sort of symbol everywhere I grappled. I noticed similar symbols already there in the cave, and I was getting more and more certain that this place was where Fred had gone. Voice acting could be a little bit better.
The adventure suit was fantastic. By combining a power leap with a grapple, I could fly long distances through the air at great speed. I think I'm still going the right direction. Kind of feels like I'm headed back. So I've been here, <clears throat> I assume I'm supposed to go back from where I started. Jump. <clears throat> For an intro level, this seems a little too long. the same action over and over. It's not really helping me learn anything.
Hmm. These blue lights. Did Fred put them here? Or was somebody else here as well? Well, it's really deep. Platforming's okay. A little boring so far. Plot, I'm really not interested in so far. Need a little bit something else to latch on to. All of a sudden I can't run anymore. Hello, who are you? You're not from here. Wow, it's Avatar, you look just the like cartoon. Fred, but smaller, and with less hair on your face. <laughs> she knew Fred. I told her that he was my uncle, and that I was looking for him. What's an uncle? I said that he was, that I had known him all my life. Wow, this dialogue really? is so terrible. I'll help you find him. I'm Madeline. The others call me Mad Maddie sometimes. Because I'm insane. I don't know why, really. But you can call me Maddie. You've never been to the village, right? Let's meet over there in the square. I'll show you around. I bet you can get there easily with your suit thing. So, I'll see you there. I couldn't believe it. An underground village. I couldn't believe that I talk like William Frog Shatner. People, or more like salamanders. Either way, they, they walk like humans, they talk like humans. Oh. That was impossible. <laughs> 